Hey guys, how is it going? This is my review for the P-Droid ROM version 1.1 for the GSM version. There's also one for the CDMA version. So you can install it on both, but you have to install a GSM patch for the XT910. So let's begin this video. This ROM is based on the 4.1.2 OTA update from Motorola. This is based on the official version. That means that you will keep 1080p video, <coughs> uh, photo quality is awesome and uh, you won't lose any data functionality and signal drops, you won't get them. You get stable Wi-Fi connection for advantages over C CM10 based ROMs or codename or whatever. And yeah, this ROM is simply amazing. So Wizbean, uh, JellyWiz and this ROM are based on the OTA update. I think most developers now change to this space because it's more stable, of course. And you will get working camera. Now this ROM doesn't come with the motor blur camera. That's really cool. It comes with the 4.2 camera, which is much better, I think, because the original Moto Cam doesn't have much to offer. And this camera uh, comes with working photosphere. That's really cool. So um, in most cases, this uh, photosphere doesn't work properly on many devices, which are not Nexus devices. But um, let's see if this works here. Let's, oh man. Does it work? Holy crap. Man, where this, where's this point where we can... Now ah, let's go on here. You have to find it out yourself, but I won't be able to do that now. So when you switch to video mode, you can go into settings and see that 720 is activated and you can go to up to 1080p video. It works, I've tested it. Amazing quality, like you would expect in 4.0.4 um, official. And this uh, ROM comes with the new ADW launcher, which is also simply amazing. You get very much customization on this launcher and it looks great. You see those dock icons here, let's focus them. They are reflected and high resolution reflections. Looks great and you get these nice um, <clears throat> icon labels here, which are very small and when they are too long to fit in one line, you will get the second, <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You get the second line here with the smaller name uh, below. And this launcher, I think I will make a review of this launcher itself. But let's see which apps are included in this ROM. You get Pimp My ROM. And what this is, um, yeah, it's a root app, of course, and it allows you to um, modify your ROM. Like um, you can install some tweaks here, kernel tweaks, network and internet, ad block hosts, and you can install, for example, the Brave Engine 2. Let's do this actually. ICS and later. Bravia engine on. Install. Not Davic and cache. Just for the heck of it. And let's see if this works with boot menu manager.
Of course not. But um, yeah, that's not a problem. Just go to the folder where it is downloaded to and flash it manually via boot menu manager. Let's reboot, reboot the system. <coughs> Maybe uh, we should use this opportunity to um, to know how exactly you flash this ROM. <clears throat> so I show you in some seconds. Go to recovery and uh, it's very easy. Just install the boot menu manager. But uh, when you're on 4.1.2 official, you probably um, have it um, yet because you need it for installing the 4.1.2 OTA update. Blue LED, optimizing file system, okay. Didn't have that before. Oh man. Now this took a little bit longer, but um, optimizing is always great. So let's see how we can install it. I will show you that. So go to switch systems, enable your second slot, which is now called Arishnoid 1.1 for me. Then just wipe and clean everything and wipe data and cache, wipe Delvi cache and cache, go back. <coughs> And install zip package. Go to the folder where you have placed it. To switch to external SD, just go to change zip file location. Then go to external storage and install zip from storage. Go to download when it is there. This is the Arishnoid 1.1 GSM point zip dot zip. But there's also one which is only called Arishnoid 1.1 and you will find the GSM patch in the original thread. <coughs> but um, when I find it again, I will post you the link for the um, optimized GSM version so you don't have to flash any um, patch. GApps are included, which is great. And this is it when you have installed it. Just reboot your system, go to reboot options, go to reboot. <coughs> you don't have to reboot to second system because you will ask, um, of course, when it uh, starts the boot animation. Uh, before you get the boot animation, this will come up. Just tap it and go to Arishnoid 1.1. And for me, it uh, didn't work um, the first time. I got in a boot loop, but just reboot and um, choose second system again, and then it will work 100%. This is the awesome boot animation with the droid sound. Looks awesome to me. Booting is very fast as you see <clears throat> and now we can take a look at the lock screen. You will get the 4.1.2 style clock here, looks very clean and your standard original lock screen with the shortcuts to phone, text, unlock and camera. And this ROM is super smooth. I will show you what I mean. You only have to do this. Drag it down, drag it up. No, no lag or something and just go to settings and see how fast I can scroll without choppiness or lag. Super smooth and responsive. 
And of course you will get no um, additional settings here because this is a stock ROM base. And yeah, this is the Arishnoid 1.1. You will also get the percentage battery icon here and the transparent status bar. And this ROM is very good um, because it comes with ADV, uh, ADW launcher and some additional tweaks. Hope you liked this video and um, give me a thumbs up when you liked it. And stay subscribed or subscribe if you haven't already when you want to see another ROM review for this amazing phone. And this is so thin. Now I got my Note 2, but I love this phone. The build quality is amazing. And I'm very glad to hear that developers now invest time in this phone and bring amazing ROMs like this. And um, yeah, have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, how is it going guys? Kevin is back for another video. This video is about the P-Droid ROM. It's also based on the 4.1.2 OTA update. That means that it's Moto Blur based. <laughs> and um, yeah, I have to do this again. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back. <coughs> hey guys, what's going on? Hey guys, how is it going? I'm back with another video. It's um, about the P-Droid ROM. This is based on the 4.1.2 Auto update. That means that is um, that it is. Yeah. Hey, how is it going, guys? I'm back with another video. Today I want to show you the P-Droid ROM. This is my quick overview. This is based on the 4.1.2 OTA update. That means that it is um, Moto Blur based. And you won't lose any functionality like smart actions and. Yes, you will lose it. But anyway.